wrong you Mr. Ryan? Because you keep asking me about trying to make this blog. I thought I'd make a little one for you. Just left Roxham, just gone 11 o'clock. Just tootling on down. It's a bit windy today. So I think there's a bit of rain on the way as well. So we'll see how far we get. I'm heading up towards Potter. Not sure if we we'll make it or not because it is quite a trip. And as usual, Daisy's being mental. But we'll see how far we get today anyway. So I don't know. But there's some lovely places around here. We'll have a look around. Probably doing about three miles an hour, something like that. Maybe do a bit of work on the boat this afternoon if it does start raining to see if I can fix this fuel tank up. It'll be nice but I think we're gonna have to take the whole floor up. Um, I was hoping I could just move the tank to one side and get to the hoses and get it connected. But I was looking last night, I don't think that's gonna work. I think we're gonna have to take the whole back floor up to get to it. So over that, or I start taking the toilet out so I can get it ready for putting the new shower in, which is also going to be a big undertaking, obviously. So I don't know, it'd be a bit easier. Uh, maybe get you down here at some point to pay you in logs. <laughs> get down, have a laugh. Maybe fit it the shower in. Be nice for the summer if we've got the shower in, especially if we're going to do the long trip, go down up the Thames, past the Houses of Parliament, under London Bridge, London Barrier. Be nice to have the shower on board. We've got the big water tank now, so if we've got the big water tank, big fuel tank, shower, I think we're pretty much set. The only thing I think we've still got to do, apart from them bits, is get the life jacket serviced. Um, other than that, I don't really think there's too much more to do. It'll be an interesting trip, taking this little boat out to sea. Have to be a nice calm day, well, calm week really. How long that's going to take. I think the guesstimation was about five days down to London from Dillon, a day or so up to Great Yarmouth. We could make that in a day, sit and wait for the tides. Uh, we're either go out of Galston or maybe stay inland, go out of lower stuff. Whichever way, we've got to wait for the tides to cross all the broad. And then we've got to have favourable tides to take us down towards London. Next, the current, the wind. So it's going to be a tricky one getting the right conditions for it. Because so obviously, this is only a sort of semi seagoer until you team. take too many chances. So we're not that equipped for it, but she should be fine when she's all fitted out and done. One thing I've noticed up here this time, there is so many downed trees. I think the storms a couple of weeks ago really affected it. It got hit hard. There's trees down everywhere. They're across the water. Looks like a couple I've seen. Really sure, it looks like one of them might have been struck by lightning or something. I don't remember there being any lightning around, but it is very pretty up there. The leaves, every time you come, really, it's different, it's never the same twice, is it? Or having fun anyway. See if we can find a nice spot on the way that they can just have a good run around. Don't know, uh, I suppose you've got up by the Abbey, 
there's a good spot for them. A lot of cows up there though, as you well know, as we had to go off the docks three times the last time we was up there. So I might look for a better spot than that. I think just before Horning, there is a nice little mooring. It's just like the one boat. And if you go past that, there's one for a few boats, but this time of year, there's not many boats about. So I may be able to get on there if there's no other boats. That's a big spot where they can run. Well, anyway, I'm gonna keep plodding along and maybe I'll speak to you later.